Hello what's up Ali here and on this video we are going to address some of the issues that you may encounter on your get broken PS4. We are going to address the issues of where the PS4 could not detect the USB and also when you get the message that the PS4 failed to trigger the exploit turn on and some other stuff. And at the end of this video we are going to provide some tips how we can improve the success rate of our our jailbroken ps4 or how we improve the success rate of activating our jailbreaker so let us first try to address uh, the issue when all of a sudden your ps4 could no longer load your web browser first we have to check if there has been some changes on the firmware we can check the firmware here on the system then system information and here on the system software you should see here 9.0 or lower so whatever version you are using it should not have any changes but if you see here an update then unfortunately that is the end of your jailbreaker but as long as you see here a jailbreakable firmware then whatever issues that you are encountering there is a fix or a workaround for that but if ever you have accidentally updated your ps4 unfortunately there still no safe and sure way to downgrade your ps4 though for now there has been a procedure where they use a system glitch and try to install a uh, lower firmware but it doesn't have a 100% success rate and also it requires a very advanced uh, knowledge on the hardware of the PS4 and also you may be able to revert back to an old firmware if you were able to make a backup of your old firmware but if you were not able to do that then the only thing that you can do to go back or to have another jailbroken PS4 is uh, get another jailbroken PS4 simply get a new one sell your unit buy a new one or have your current ps4 be traded to a uh, jailbroken one so it is very important to prevent that from happening rather than fixing that issue and to do that one of the very first thing that we have to do is uh, to use a dns that blocks uh, the automatic updates that is coming from sony we can do that here on the network settings set up internet connection use whatever connection that you are using then uh, choose custom you may see this message that, that the PS4 has detected a new update, but as long as you are using a uh, DNS that blocks the automatic updates, uh, your PS4 will block that uh, update. So here on the IP address settings, click here automatic, DHC, DHCP hostname, do not specify. And here on the DNS settings, use manual and use this DNS. I will just provide the DNS on our description, so make sure you uh, got this exactly. Then uh, click on next. MTU settings, uh, proxy server, and test internet connection. After that, then we can go ahead and uh, cancel. Now let us uh, first address the issue where your PS4 is having a very bad success rate on activating the jailbreak. So whenever you have noticed that your jailbreak is having a uh, bad success rate, that is a cue for you to reset your host or change your host. To do that, we have to be connected to the internet. Then go to the browser. And to reset our host, press option here on the browser. Then delete all. Then another option, back to settings. Go to delete cookies and clear website data. Now we can go ahead and uh, enter a new host or just uh, use your old host uh, but by doing this uh, you are refreshing the uh, cache or the cookies of your ps4 thus uh, making it easier to load uh, your jailbreak uh, and here we can enter the address of the host and the host uh, that i recommend the most is uh, the one from chameleon so that is uh, kme um, you will find uh, the link on our description and here choose the option on the right Then choose the auto host exploit menu and use the auto leave full version 5. This is the host that I am uh, using for the past two or three months. And uh, this is also the host that I can uh, recommend if you prefer stability for your jailbreak. Now, once you see that message, so just press OK. You don't have to follow the message on the window just press enter don't press x if your enter is circular since my enter is circular i will go ahead and press circular and that should load the exploit 
So whenever you are having some bad success rate, it is an indication for you to reset or use another host. Now let's go address the issue where your PS4 could not detect the USB. So it happens when the PS4 asked for the USB, but you don't get the cue or the message that you can remove the USB. On that issue, you may have to change your USB. But you can still check your USB if your USB can be detected on your PC. If your PC can detect your USB, then you can just uh, format your USB and set it up again for your jailbreak. So let's go to our PC. Here USB drive D, this is my USB. So as long as you get this icon, that means that your PC can still detect your USB. And that means that you can still use that USB for the activation of your jailbreak. But if your PC can no longer detect your USB, that means that you will simply have to use a different USB and format it for your jailbreak. To format your USB, we need two files. You will get the link on our description. So follow the link and it will take you to this website. So just scroll down a little and download this file by clicking on this part. And we'll also need this image. Open the link and here you can download this file by clicking here on the download. So after you have downloaded our disk imager, just run the program. And here on the device, choose here the device that you want to format. And click on this part here and choose the file that we have just downloaded. So that is the XFAT hacks uh, underscore Pico. So make sure you got everything here correctly. You don't want to format and choose a wrong drive here because it will definitely wipe out all of the data. So once you have a double checked the information, click here right. Click on continue. And that USB is uh, now prepared or ready for the activation of your jailbreak. So in case you have changed your USB and still your PS4 could not detect the USB, then there is a possible issue that your USB port is busted. One way to check that is if you can sync a controller using a USB on your PS4, that means that your PS4 is still working. But if your controller could not sync using that USB port, that means that you have to get your USB port repaired first. Good thing if you have a PS4 Pro, you still have a third USB port at the back of the PS4. But for the slim and fat models, you only have two USB ports. So if one port is not working, then just use another one. And if you want to know if you can use a USB hub on your PS4, yes, you can definitely do that. So if you only have one USB port working, you can still use a hub to be able to use multiple USB on your PS4. Now let us address an issue when you run a PS4 game and you get an error. Well, most of the time it is an update issue, especially on this stage of the jailbreak where most of the games that is being released required a higher firmware. So all games now requires a backport to work. So in case you have installed the game and unfortunately you encountered an error message, then you just have to download the right update for that right file. You will know that the game is updated by clicking here option and click on the information. Here on the version, it should be anything but 1.0. So if you see here the version 1.0, that means that you have not installed any update on that game yet. So eventually, that game will fail to load. I will just leave a link on our description how to update our games on our jailbroken PS4. And another thing I would like to add on this video, in case your PS4 is getting an issue when you load a game, then you get the message that you have been logged out and you get the error code CE30391-6. That means that your PS4 has a broken CMOS battery. Actually, all you have to do is update your gold hand to the latest version. That should fix the issue because the latest gold hand already comes with the fix on how to bypass this issue. Unfortunately, you cannot fix the issue when the PS4 always reset its time like for what I have here. It always reset on 8 a.m. Though I no longer get this error message every time I load my game. So let's try to go ahead and load the game.
though i was able to load my game and i did not receive any error codes but every time i will reset or reboot my ps4 it will reset its time and date unfortunately the only way for now to have a permanent fix on this one is update to the latest firmware and sync your ps4 to the psn unfortunately you don't want to do that on a jailbroken ps4 so you will have to ignore this part where your ps4 will reset its time and date every time you reboot your ps4 but you will be able to load or play your games without any issues lastly for a tip on how to improve the success rate of our ps4 first let's go ahead and restart our ps4 by the way if you are being bothered by that message you may go to the notification choose the file first press option then click on delete So that is uh, one of the importance of having a uh, DNS that blocks updates from Sony. Now to increase the success rate of our PS4, let's go ahead and activate our jailbreak. One of the best practice to improve the success rate of your PS4 is wait for a few seconds for every step. Say for example, uh, the PS4 is asking for a USB. Wait for 3 seconds before you insert the USB. Just don't spend too much time. So just wait for 2 to 3 seconds. And once you see the next message, again wait for another 2 to 3 seconds and remove the usb first before you proceed to the next step and once you have removed the usb that's before you go to the next step So regardless of whatever host you are using because there are other hosts that has a slightly different in a waste on activating the jailbreak but one way to improve the success rate is wait for a few seconds each time you proceed to the next step so this will be it for now in case you have any issues or errors or concerns you have on your ps4 you may go ahead and share them on our comment section and i will definitely address them and again this is ali if you found this video helpful please go ahead and like and subscribe and i will definitely see you on our next video bye bye